let me out alone Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too Good morning friends. I thought today would be the perfect day to have a day in the life. Well, first of all, Archie and I are out here on the patio enjoying this glorious morning, blue skies, no humidity. It is absolutely beautiful. Though I am enjoying some pumpkin spice coffee because you know me, I do love the autumn season, but there's nothing more beautiful to me than a nice cold summer morning and Archie and I are taking full advantage of it. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> We're watching the Today Show and I thought we can do something fun today. Actually, I am doing a filming a video for you all for next week and I have to do a little baking. So we're gonna do that today. And I had so much fun going back on some of our old videos for the video that you guys are gonna see next week and just going down memory lane. And I have to admit, I do miss the vlogs. That's why I'm like, I'm gonna do a day in the life today because I miss my friends and I wanna hang out with you today. Our neighbors are getting some work done in their backyard, so that's why you're gonna hearing a little a construction going on and we also have a new house going up in our neighborhood too which is great well, I'm gonna enjoy a little coffee and then I'm gonna get back on and we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do today so friends what is on your fall bucket list this year I know I shared with you last year my fall bucket list and I really did check mark I think just about everything that was on that list and I'm thinking of the list this year and it's gonna probably be very repetitive because I loved everything that we did last year I loved it and um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get my wheel spinning because you know, we've got two more babies coming in September. We've got Zach and Lindsay's little girl coming and Morgan and Tony's third baby, which they do not know the sex of the baby yet. And of course we got our precious Christopher. He is growing and so, so cute. Mommy and daddy are exhausted. And I said, wow. It gets easier. It's that little infant stage, newborn stage that is just so hard because you're just trying to get used to everything. Uh, so uh, anyway, with all that being said, we still have a lot planned for this fall season and we're going to a wedding next weekend in Chicago. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I love Chicago. Chicago and New York are my two favorite cities. I just love the hustle and bustle of both of them. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, maybe I'll pull out the camera. Or maybe Lorna and I will do like a day in the life together in Chicago. Because her and her husband will be there as well. Um, so maybe I'll think about doing that. Maybe that will be something fun to do. And uh, let's see. What else? What else? So we're going to do some baking today. And uh, I've got a, one more thing I have to pick up when uh, for decorating my foyer. I was hoping to get to decorate my front porch. But you know what? It's still too early and mums and corn stalks and all that stuff is not even out yet so we're having to hold off on that here a little bit uh, other than that my whole house is done and looks so pretty and festive the next thing I think I'm gonna do is my bedroom I want to make it nice and cozy leading in you know from the fall season leading into the winter season so that's something else I'm gonna be doing um, but not today <laughs> so anyway I want to enjoy this morning and uh, just chill out and I gotta get back to my exercising. It's been literally two weeks, you guys, and I feel horrible. So I'm gonna maybe, I'm not gonna maybe, I'm going to get on my workout clothes today and do a workout out here on the patio, shower, and then kinda of just have some fun today. I'm gonna head out and pick up. I had to reorder uh, my down, well it's actually down alternative, that's how you call it, um, because I want to show you what I did, but I want to talk to you about this real quick because um, Susan, the little poet, hopefully you guys watch her channel because she is so precious and so kind and I can just sit there and listen to her talk all day long. And she was talking about this pumpkin seed oil and the way she described it, 
I'm like, I want to give that a try. And I have to tell you, Susan was spot on with this. If you put even like just a smidge of a drop on your beauty blender and then dab it on your face after you put on your makeup, or you can mix a little drop in with your um, foundation, your skin looks so luminous. And I know you guys love how you always been saying like, what have you been doing with your skincare lately and your makeup? Because we love how luminous it looks. Well, this is an additional product that I am loving, loving. And also, I love to put a little bit on my hand and just run it through my hair. And let me tell you, I have fine, thin hair, and it makes my hair so shiny and soft and not one ounce of grease. So I'm going to say this is definitely a win-win in my book. The sad thing about it, I used it a few days, and I had the little lid that I guess apparently I did not tighten, and I put it on my bed and the oil went all over my bedding so needless to say hence why i'm getting a new bedding uh, the duvet cleaned off beautifully but not the comforter itself so i'm gonna go pick that up i ordered it from bed bath and beyond and i have to go return something at kohl's via for amazon via kohl's which is so nice and convenient we could do that and whatever else the day brings and we're going to come home i'm going to bake something and then tonight we're going to go to gary and jody's i think mark and i maybe and um just have a glass of wine and chill out with them uh so okay i'm going to go take archie out and uh well we're going to go run some errands all right i got my shake chocolate peanut butter and banana how much better can that be oh and i'm going to start making my pumpkin ones here soon so i have to pull out my pumpkin protein shake recipes so i'm gonna try to find one and if i can i'll share it in the description section so cheers i just picked up the comforter and i thought i did this but if i did i'm sorry for repeating it but it's worth repeating uh anyway our youngest fans of the two orchids is um is mark and then his friend Maddie, who he introduced our channel to. So Mark and Maddie, Mark, I love seeing you now at Bed Bath & Beyond. You're just so sweet. And Maddie, I don't know you, but if you're a friend of Mark, you've got to be amazing. So I just wanted to say hello to both of you. And uh, just thank you so much for tuning in. And it means so, so much to us. You have no idea. So I wanted to say that. All right, so now I'm going to head to, actually, I think I'm going to head to the mall. MAC came out with these new matte lipsticks, but they're creamy. I want to see if they have them, so let's go see, because they had some really pretty fall colors. You know how much I love the fall hues, especially when it comes to lipstick. We're going over to Gary and Jody's tonight, and I thought I'll make this Starbucks dupe. It's I made it years ago. It's a pumpkin bread. Maybe it was even last year. Anyway, it was so delicious, and I thought I could make that because I know they're on keto. I'm trying to watch my carbs, but it is so delicious. So let me show you what goes in it. Basically, it's pumpkin puree, almond flour, swerve, or you can use monk fruit, eggs, avocado oil, and let me see baking powder, cinnamon, pumpkin spice, vanilla, and also pumpkin extract, which is a little extra there. And uh, let's see, anything else that I'm missing? Cinnamon, did I say that? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all mixed up. I'm gonna get this in the oven.
I'm ready to get this. Now, what I have here, so I'm actually following the directions that she did. So I just have a really pretty kind of a loaf pan and I put some foil in it because she says it actually makes it cook more evenly. Then sprayed some avocado oil and then put some parchment paper in. So, all right, let's see how this turns out. you one thing it smells divine it smells so good it doesn't allow the smell of pumpkin and cinnamon okay <clears throat> oops messed up a little bit here it's okay now we're gonna top this with pepitas and that's how it is at Starbucks so it should be really tasty so I'm gonna go ahead and break these up a little bit, sprinkle it on top, and we're gonna go ahead and stick it in the oven. Preheated 350, and I think it's something we look to make sure, about 30 to 35 minutes. bread is in the oven it smells so good so we're going to test it out in about 30 to 35 minutes and then let it cool off it'll be perfect timing to head over gary and jody's enjoy this beautiful beautiful night this recipe is so easy i'm gonna go clean up all my mess here while it bakes in the oven and then we'll chat a little bit more oh, that pumpkin bread smells really really good and I am loving this lipstick that I got from Mac and I will list it in the description section because I tried on a couple of them and I can't remember which, which shade this one was. Um, it's part of their powder kiss collection. I'll have all the information in the description section, but Mark is still on the phone on a conference call. And as soon as he gets done, we're going to head out to Gary and Jody's. I'm going to grab my pumpkin bread and enjoy just a relaxing night. Lauren was just here and I was editing her video for her. And now I'm gonna head to Jake and Allie's. I actually, well, we're keeping our fingers crossed, but we're hoping um, to get this one house that they've been looking at. So they're gonna put their condo on the market and they asked me to come over and help stage it for them. So yes, I'm on my way. We're gonna make it all pretty and perfect for the camera. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And then when I come back home, I'm sure we'll be doing something with our friends tonight. So I wanted to jump on and say hello. And all right, I'm gonna go to uh, Jake and Allie's and get to work. Okay, well Mark and I are gonna have date night tonight. We're gonna go out to the Lake Club, just enjoy a nice dinner. And I wanna show you, look at this pretty blazer I saw at uh, Macy's yesterday. And it's from Ink. And I love it because it has three quarter length sleeves. So <laughs> I gotta pull these brown sleeves of my layering shirt on. I gotta pull them out. But anyway, I really like this jacket. I think it's really super cute. Okay, well, I am going to just figure out what shoes I'm gonna wear. We're gonna head out to Lake Club and have some dinner. Uh, I had a great time at uh, Allie and Jake's and I really like cleared everything out and staged it. So I really hope this all works out with them getting this house. Uh, if you know if it doesn't it's not meant to be but at least their place is ready to roll and I think their place is gonna sell like in a second so their current condo um, but anyway yeah so I'm excited for uh, our date night tonight and um, I don't know just to sit outside and enjoy this beautiful night it's actually right now in the low 70s that's why I've got this on so it'd be the perfect night to sit out by the way Caitlin and Chris and Christopher are coming tomorrow they're gonna spend the night so 
the first night that Christopher is going to be in Nona and Papa's house. So we are really excited about that. I wanted to share that with you. Check one, two, check one, two.